Good morning, it's Wednesday, February 19th, a little after 6, I'm heading to Barstow, uh, heading out to the Red Dog Claim. I'm hoping that uh, with the three day weekend that uh, ones, different ones didn't clean out the spot I've been working on, but it's a possibility. Might have to start digging a new hole. We'll see. Uh, and I'm going to meet uh, Barst. I'm going to meet Robert Ferguson, and he's going to follow me out to the claim. We're both going to get a bunch of buckets to take with us. Still got about, uh, let me think, about oh, 14 or 15 buckets at home I haven't gone through from the last two trips just because my um, recirculator was, one of the pumps was broken down, but I just fixed it last night. So, uh, I, and I did run one bucket and it looked pretty good. A lot of, a couple couple almost picker size the other was you know other stuff is small so hoping for a good day out here it's supposed to be windy as the morning goes on it's supposed to get more and more windy so hoping to get the dirt and get out of there before the wind comes up and keeps blowing dirt in your eyes as you're trying to shovel in your mouth Saturday is when I'm going to the uh, Hard Rock Mine. So since I'll be chipping away at walls inside a mine, I'm hoping I'll be in halfway decent shape. Right now my back's really tweaked, so I uh, hope I can make it through this morning. But, uh, anyway. I'll think positive. So here's the uh, trivia question concerning gold in the Bible. Now I'm going to be, there's going to be a clue in the question this time to make it, should make it super easy to find the answer. What did Peter say was worth more or of more value than gold? So what did Peter say was worth more than gold or of more value, however your translation puts it? So, so far, uh, got two people that have answered the last questions. Let's see who gets this one. pretty quick to the Barstow Road exit. So, almost there. that saves me a little on these trips is 
like here at the food for less the gas is 353 and there's no uh, fee or anything like you know like you don't have to pay 35 cents or anything to when you put your use your ATM card so that's like 25 cents cheaper at least than it costs where I live so that helps pay for the trip a little bit well when I just got out to go to Carl's I discovered my back is worse than I thought it was it it is <laughs> crushed lower back. I was doing a bunch of yard work yesterday, and I guess I must have threw something out. Uh, so I'm going to break my own rule. I, I never, I don't even take an aspirin for anything. I just, oh, well, I got a headache. But uh, I actually broke the Motrin in half. I'm going to take half a Motrin. That's going beyond what I usually do. So I could try to make it through loading up these 10 buckets, hopefully. With all the classifying and everything. Okay, feel sorry for me, right? No, nobody does, I know. So. <laughs> but, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I hope I can make it through this morning. Pity me. All right, we'll have some fun. Well, here we have Robert Ferguson enjoyed the whole experience. <laughs> The diggy, the classified, yeah, the driving. Yeah, this uh, coffee ground stuff here. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's some good stuff there. Yeah, the guy, uh, let's see, what's his name? Vegas, I think it is. Vargas. Dan Vargas. That's what he, from over a couple miles from here, from the two courts, he said over there, you find those coffee ground material and you're on the gold, so. This is kind of light coffee, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Might be decaf. <laughs> I might get some water and go make it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. All right. But we're hoping uh, we've got a bunch of buckets here. We're hoping we'll come up with something from yeah, this thanks trip. Thanks for bringing me out here, Larry. Oh, no. I'm glad you came. It's, Nobody uh... would ever find the spot. I'll tell you that right, right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hear that, everybody? You can't find it. Don't even try. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you can see Robert's really tearing the hill up here. I hope he doesn't break any nuggets in half or anything, but uh, I think we're pretty safe. So we can see we've already put a pretty big, that whole area there, he just dug that out, so he put a pretty big dent in that. And I've been digging up here at the top area, and uh, the middle mostly. So I hope we're on the gold today. But it's a beautiful day, the wind hasn't picked up too much yet, it warmed up, so... It's nice out here, nice and peaceful. All the Joshua trees and yuccas and all that good stuff. So my first three buckets I got from the sort of the mid-high area here. And now I'm going to the high area. We're leaving the Red Dog. I uh, probably you'll see it on Robert Ferguson's video. There's this one shortcut I always wanted to try, but I never wanted to try it by myself in case I got stuck. So I thought since he was here, I'd try it. Guess what? I got right to the end of it and I got stuck. It just turned into sand. And uh, actually, so we had to try to push it back and forth and pile rocks up and dig it out and all that. And uh, then the right side of my, you know, it's all rubber stuff, the trim, it actually ripped it off. So, so now I got that problem. It's like about a six inch, six foot strip. <laughs> but uh, okay, just another thing to mess with. Well, I'm at an undisclosed location. <laughs> I'm going to uh, try to suck up a little dirt here with this super sucker that weighs a ton and uh, suck up a little sand in the water here and Robert's running a little dirt through his sluice box down here so we'll see what we come up with so I ran half a bucket and there's a little kind of like a little stringy piece okay and then they're right oh there's the other piece right next it's just real real small so there's just uh, oh there's another little one okay so 
Oh, well, there's actually two. two. Anyway, <laughs> like I said, nothing, nothing exciting. But there's one there, and there's one there. You know. Oh, okay. So and then, then little pieces. So anyway, from half a bucket, I got a little something to show so far. Didn't get skunked. Yeah, beautiful day at Cahoon Creek up in Alaska, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> kind of got some warm weather, weather for a change. Mojave River. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I go so many places I get confused. Mojave River, yeah. He wanted big stuff, but it's like, it's like um, Robert got some nice looking gold. He wanted some nuggets, but you know, that's only going to happen once in a while. <laughs> Where's the big stuff? Yeah. Well, at least you know that spot does produce something. It does have gold. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Larry. Just got home from being up there at Barstow. Um, so I'll just put this video up with a trivia question. And uh, I don't know how long it'll be before I actually get a video up with a cleanup, but um, because I still have. Let's see, from previous trips, I've got about 14 or 15 buckets left to go through. Then I'll have 10, well, I went through half a bucket, so nine and a half from this trip. So it, and uh, let's see, and I've got other things lined up this week. So we'll see what happens. I'll try to get on it and show you pictures from the, I guess it'll be from three different uh, trips eventually.